It's the Esco Let's Go Show. KJ's in the house. What's up, KJ? What's up? What's up is Jennifer Lopez. She has pulled the plug on her summer tour. Live Nation announced today that JLo's This Is Me Live tour is canceled because she is taking time off to be with her children, family, and close friends. Friends, uh, JLo released a statement on her website that says, I am completely heartsick and devastated about letting you down. Please know that I wouldn't do this if I didn't feel that it was absolutely necessary. I promise I will make it up to you and we will all be together again. I love you all so much until next time. Now, a source for Entertainment Tonight said that J-Lo canceled her tour because she wants to focus on her family and the stress from it has been a lot for her. Now, we've talked about it, too. Like, her and Ben Affleck, like, they've been going through it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, a lot of drama. This is good for J-Lo. I, I'm glad that she's doing this. Uh, I mean, she's J-Lo. She's super successful. She's had plenty of tours. She sold million, uh, millions of records. Like, take some time off and get your family and your marriage right. You know what I'm saying? She deserves it. Wouldn't you say, KJ? Yeah, I think so. This was not a good time to go on tour. Not a good time to go on tour. Obviously, all the rumors running around about her and Ben Affleck. Yeah. And Ben Affleck just always looks miserable. <laughs> yeah, I want her to fix that and work on that. <laughs> well, maybe Ben Affleck will actually be happy for yeah, once now. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Uh, a source goes on to tell Entertainment Tonight that Ben and Jen don't want to get divorced and are saying they won't, but their relationship is simply not working at this point. They aren't done yet and want to fix things because they love each other, but they are also both unhappy. I mean, we like I said, we know Ben's always unhappy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but good for J-Lo. We hope she gets this right. She deserves it. I mean... And she's been up to bat with these marriages a lot, KJ. At some point, she's got to get a, hit a home run. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> We're rooting for J-Lo. And, you know, you know, spend some time with the kids. Get, the, get that family right. Uh, one person that doesn't feel the same way about his kids is Eminem. He's back. Back again. He dropped his new song and video for Houdini, and it is classic Eminem, people. Yes. I mean, his flow, his beat, and the video. The video is it will take you all the way back to the early 2000s. He has a tons. He has tons of uh, references to uh, his "Without Me" video. He's got guest appearances from Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, 50 Cent, and his kids. And like I said, it's a classic Slim Shady song. So he has some crazy lyrics like "F my own kids, they're brats." <laughs> 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 what did you think about this new Eminem in the video, KJ? I love the video. Oh, my god. I thought goodness. the video was super dope how he did it. It's classic. It's yeah. like vintage Eminem, you yes. know? It's like, this is who he is. This is vintage Eminem, vintage Slim Shady. And, of course, you know his new album is going to be called The Death of Slim Shady, so he's giving the fans everything they wanted, you know, all those classic Eminem feels. And, of course, like, like the bars, man. He had some crazy bars on here that made me laugh out loud. <laughs> I laughed out loud. I mean, the R. Kelly bar is crazy. Bubba and R. Kelly's favorite group, the Black Guy Peas. <laughs> oh my God. See, that's Eminem right there. You yeah, know what I'm saying? It, that, it, this song was definitely Eminem. And then, yes, the Eminem <laughs> Slim Shady all the way back, and we love it. I'm going to play that song today in the 5 p.m. hour, so stick around for that. Speaking of classic Eminem, SZA. She surprised everyone by dropping a cover of Eminem's classic, Lose Yourself. I mean, you just have to hear it. Take a listen. Lose yourself in the music, the moment you own it. You better never let it go. You only get one shot, and I miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. Lose yourself in the music, the moment you own it. You better never let it go. You only get one shot, then I miss your chance. I mean, that's awesome. Yes, she sounds amazing singing that. <laughs> that's crazy. I, they, I need like a final version of that. That has to be like a single, dude. Like they need to, they, like Eminem needs to like sign off on that and be like, go ahead and, and put the full full effects on that thing. She that had thing him fire. very shocked, so he might. Yeah, he did leave an emoji like, yeah. wow. Like, wow, he was stunned by it. So hopefully we'll get an official version of SZA, Lose Yourself. That Eminem cover, it's crazy. I love it. Maybe she'll put it on uh, that Lana album that we have been waiting months for. <laughs>
<laughs> when, when is that thing going to come out? Never. Never. <laughs> All right. So tomorrow is June 1st, and that means the BET Awards will be taking place on June 30th. And it will be a very special BET Awards this year because the Lifetime Achievement Award winner will be none other than Usher. That's right. Usher getting his Lifetime Achievement Award at the BET Awards, a tribute performance as well. Uh, who do you think is going to perform for him? Obviously, Chris Brown. That's my. That's the first person I thought of uh, paying tribute to him. Who, who else do you think is going to perform for him? Oh, Chris Brown's a good one. Yeah. I was thinking maybe like Alicia Keys. Ah, of course. They gotta yeah. do, they're gonna relive that my boo they Super have Bowl to. moment. <laughs> <laughs> they have to. <laughs> right, Ludacris, Lil John, they're all coming. It's basically gonna be a Super Bowl reunion. Yep. <laughs> no doubt about it. So uh yeah, Usher, Lifetime Achievement Award at this year's BET Awards, which is happening Sunday, June 30th, 7 p.m. Hey, thanks for listening to Celebrity Nonsense with me, Esco Let's Go. Make sure you follow my podcast at Esco Let's Go. That's E-S-K-O-L-E-T-S-G-O. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's the same, E-S-K-O-L-E-T-S-G-O, all one word. Thanks for listening.